Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about DEM enable condition and DEM storage condition. In our previous video, we discussed about DEM overview and how to handle the DEM event, how DEM event will get stored inside the DEM event memory. I have mentioned all my DEM related videos in the description. You can watch it. First, we can start with basic about DEM. DEM is Diagnostic Event Manager. It DEM keeps track of diagnostic events and it handles and stores the events detected by diagnostic monitor in both software component and basic software modules. And whenever the software component detects an event or fault, this will report to DEM. DEM will store the particular event information with the help of NVM. The stored event information is available via an interface to other base software modules or software components. For more clarity of debugging purposes, we always need environmental conditions and freeze frame data. This is only specifically needed for debugging purposes. And every DEM events will be configured or will be associated with DTC. It's called as Diagnostic Trouble Code, which is an external ID for the event. And at the same time, whenever the garage guy wants to debug or wants to understand the failure, then they can use the 19 service to read the reported DTC. The DEM module provides the ability to consider the reported result during the fault handling. The thing is, the processing or storage of the event status can be disabled if the configured environmental conditions like voltage levels are not met. So for that, DEM offers two conditions, one is storage condition, another one is enable condition. And additionally, with the complex concept in DEM is like fault confirmation, warning indicator handling, event debouncing, aging, and healing according to configurable operation cycles. Now we can discuss about enable condition and storage conditions. So the enable condition and storage condition will helpful to the developer or to the dummy expert to make in a particular situation whether the particular event should be reported or not. If the particular condition is fulfilled, then only the particular event should get reported. This is what exactly about the enable condition and storage conditions and the, for activating the enable condition and storage condition we can do it via dem general and we have a configuration parameter called dem storage condition support and dem enable condition support here you have a two options because it's a boolean parameter true true means support for storage conditions is enabled false support for storage condition is disabled first we can start to understand about storage condition storage condition is a dem feature which disables failure memory storage during specific situations without affecting system degradation. We can take one example. If a system has an voltage surge situation during startup, then we can suppress the under voltage or over voltage failures from entering the failure memory using storage conditions. However, the system could remain shut and no communication is established until the storage condition is false again. And this is a API for to make a call to handle the storage condition. For an example, dem underscore set storage condition. So whenever the RT call happen from the application to call the dem storage condition, the RT will make a call of the, or will use this API. Here one parameter is a poor defined argument parameter that we can discuss in future under AutoSAR playlist. So here we have a two parameter that means two arguments. One is storage condition ID, another one is condition fulfilled. And if any storage condition on an event is not fulfilled, the status reports may be processed and the status byte will be updated. But the event memory entries will not be stored or updated. For each storage condition, a replacement event can be specified which will be processed and stored instead of the original event that was triggered if the storage condition is not fulfilled. We can deeply discuss the storage condition operation. If you will see this picture, when we are trying to report a events, here we have a event A, B, C till X. We have a three condition A, B, C. Event X is configured in condition A, condition B, condition C. And event C is configured only with the condition B. So for an example, you have to specifically or configure the particular condition. So the condition configuration, you can do it inside the DEM configuration itself. You can imagine a situation condition B is only active. So in that time, when you end over the event X is getting reported, since condition B is only active, we will not consider the particular event X 
to log inside the event memory because condition A and condition C is not active. But in the case of event C, whenever it is getting reported, condition B is active, this will be allowed. So, this is the way storage condition works. Enable condition. Enable condition is also like storage condition. So, the particular specific condition should get fulfilled. So, the enable condition are defined as a set of parameter which are assigned to a specific condition. As long as this condition is not fulfilled, then the fault reports are not valid and therefore will not be accepted and not processed. So, where you can exactly use this enable condition? For an example, you want to create a scenario. The particular scenario is not fulfilled, then the particular event should not get reported. So, it is like a locking of error memories. Instead of locking the complete error memory, for particular situation, we are locking the error memory. In that case, enable conditions will be used. If the enable condition of a fault is not satisfied, then the DTC status byte will not be updated, system will not be degraded, no entry in failure memory. And I really want to show one more picture how the exactly the enable condition operation works. So, if any enable condition on an event is not fulfilled, any status reports and reset event status for the event will be ignored. For an example, we have a multiple events, same like condition A, B, C. Event C is active only in condition B, but event access will be active only in these three conditions is active. So, condition B is active. So, event C will be allowed. But event X will not be allowed because condition A and condition C is not active. So, this is the way enable condition operation works. This is an API for making or like to if you want to call an enable condition, then you have to call this API dem underscore set enable condition. It has two arguments enable condition ID and condition fulfilled. This parameter enable condition ID is identify the enable condition and condition fulfilled has true or false. And this is a simple example for how enable condition will work according to AutoSAR configuration. So, in the application software component side, we will have a R port and dem side, we will have a P port. And R port side, we have an enable condition port and P port side, based on your configuration, this will get generated during your base software configuration side. And we need to connect these two ports via assembly connector. So, you can keep in your mind, in the enable condition case, application software component has R port and dem has P port. In the application software component side to say or report enable condition, this is application software component. We have a R port and timing event because I have configured a timing event. I want to really monitor every cyclical. So, I have a runnable entity of RD, RE cyclical. I have mentioned a synchronous server call point because I am going to make a synchronous method. So, here I have mentioned the enable condition operation. And this is an interface. Here I have mentioned one client server operation. It has only one argument type. As I mentioned, another argument will come as a port defined argument, but that we will discuss in future. And it has two possible error reference. One is EOK, another one is E not OK. And how we can write a C code? For an example, cyclic function will get called periodically. And here we have a RT underscore call function. So inside this periodic function, we will call this RT function. And the RT function or RT API will call the respective dem underscore set enable condition. Call. So, this is the way enable condition works in AutoSAR configuration way as well. Hope you got the information about enable condition and storage condition. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends. If you want to stay with us for more technical content, then please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.